And now we're gonna go through our lesson 15, if else with B. So it kind of did our condition as a lesson 14. And uh, go continue and go straight to the exercise. So the first one, I think you have a prediction. Okay, so the cloud is blocking the view. Okay, so we don't know what is underneath, all right. Uh, there could be a flower under this cloud or not. If there's a flower, the bee will need to collect nectar once. And if there is not a flower, the bee should not do anything. Uh, take a good look at the code below. Okay, so let's read the code. It says when run, so when you press this, gonna move three times. So one, two, three. So it'll be in this place, and this says if at flower. So if there is a flower on this block, then get nectar. And if there is not, don't do anything. Okay, because we can't see what it is. So, and there's a bit, there's a good case where we can use this, right? Because we don't know what's gonna happen here. When we reach there, we don't know. So we are just telling the program, when you are at the, that location, if you see a flower, then get nectar. Otherwise, don't do anything. Cool. So the bee will move to the cloud and try to get nectar no matter what. That's not true. We're just going to check for flower. The bee will move to the cloud and only try to get nectar if there is a flower underneath. That seems correct. Uh, the third one, the bee will move to the cloud and then do nothing. That's not right. Uh, the bee will not reach to the cloud. That's not right as well. So I think that's B. Okay, so let's run and let's see. Cool, we predicted right. Okay, so go to the next one. Okay, so more clouds. Now we have a challenge. Uh, so check underneath every cloud to see if it is uh, hiding a flower before you get nectar. If there is a flower underneath the cloud, the bee will need to get nectar once. Remember, not all cloud had the same thing. Okay, so under the cloud, we don't know. It's not given that there will always be a uh, flower underneath the cloud. So we just need to tell our bee that when you go under the cloud, uh, if there is a flower, take it. If not, do nothing, right? So move forward, move forward, okay? Move forward. So in this point, we'll be looking at this direction, but we want to look at this direction. So we'll turn right. And then here, and for these two blocks, we need to do same things, right? So we can use this repeat, repeat thing. Uh, we're gonna do it two times. And then each time we'll be in this location. So each time we want it to move forward and then check, right? So move forward. And here we have if at flower block so this will only execute if there is a flower if not we'll just move forward so if at flower we get nectar right cool so let's run the code see only one had um, flower so it only took nectar from one spot the other spot it didn't do anything so let's go to the next one it's the same, uh, so the same instruction. Uh, so we don't know what is underneath, so we need to program saying, <clears throat> giving different logic, right? So how many block we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven time we need to go move forward. So let's do repeat seven. And then we can say move forward. We need to move forward. And when you are at that spot, then we need to use the logic, right? So we can say if at flower, get nectar. Otherwise, don't do anything. Just go to repeat one more time and go forward. So let's run the code. Okay, so this spot is not doing anything. It's only trying to get nectar when there is a flower, cool. All right, uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. So I think it's the similar, but it doesn't have any uh, 
cloud in it but if we run exactly same code it's gonna work right so if we didn't have this if at we had to tell like move forward we need to specifically know where the flower is but now we don't need to know where the flower is we can just code it and it will solve for wherever the flower is cool so how many blocks one two three four five six seven it's the same seven and then we do move forward and then we place the logic so for every spot he, uh, she's gonna check whether there's a flower if there's a flower get nectar that's it doesn't matter where the flower is it will always collect all those nectars Cool. All right. Cool. That's it. <clears throat> now collect all the nectar using few blocks as possible. Okay. So let's do the same. We can just write the similar code for this block. So right. So how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we do six. And then every time we move forward. Uh, we check for the flower if there's a flower we get nectar and after six when we are here We'll be facing this way, but we want to go this so we can turn left Okay, and then we go move forward move forward Move forward and then when we are here uh, We'll be facing this but we want to go this way so we need to turn left as well and when you're at this point facing this direction we are actually doing the same thing right so if you can cut this so it's like there's a pattern so if you can solve for this you just repeat it it'll be solved for this as well so yeah let's put a repeat here put everything inside we want to do it two times and all good so let's run cool so now it's a different thing so now i just want to make honey so similar problem but then uh okay so if if there is a honeycomb we need to make honey so now we have honeycomb right so same same thing we go move forward one time move forward again and then when we're at that spot we need to check if it's a honeycomb and then we'll make honey otherwise we won't do anything we're facing this way we need to go this so we turn left and then we do the same thing right move forward move forward check so we can actually wrap the whole thing into repeat block and then do it twice so one part for this one repeat and when we turn left this is another straight street right so we are just repeating it twice Cool. So there's another video. So this is like this is going to introduce another um, a block. It says if do else. So if else. So you can say if you find this, do this. If you don't find this, do another thing. So till now, it we are just doing like if you find this, do this. Otherwise, don't do anything. But now with this block, you can actually tell if you can't find what are you looking for, do another thing, not nothing. Okay, so watch the video. I'm just going to skip. All right, so sometimes a cloud covers a flower, sometimes it covers a honeycomb, right? So it could be anything like uh, it says either either these two. So in this case, uh, there will there'll be something so either flower or honeycomb there's no case there will be nothing right so we go move forward move forward two times 
and then we take this so whenever we are at this spot we if flower we get nectar if not so that means if there is a honeycomb we make honey cool all right next one okay so now as a prediction cool i'll just make it a bit bigger so look at the code carefully let's read the code first it says repeat three times move forward so move forward okay so if a flower get nectar else make honey so it's gonna go through each step because it's three times so when she's on each step she's gonna check whether there's a flower if there's a flower We'll get the nectar if not make honey right so let's uh, read the options the bee will get nectar at each flower and make honey at each uh, honeycomb okay the bee will try to get nectar from both flowers and honeycomb the bee will try to get honey from both flowers and honeycomb the bee will try to get honey and nectar from both flowers and honeycomb okay okay so this middle two i think it's not the option because the bee will try to get nectar from both okay so it's not going to take nectar from both not going to get honey from both try to get honey and nectar from both N not really i think there's the first one because nectar from flower and honey from honeycomb right okay ah, why did i do step Shit, do this I don't know. Oh, awesome. Okay, challenge time. All right, let's do the challenge. Okay, so there will be either a flower or honeycomb under. Okay, so there's something there. So that's why we can use if else. Okay, so let's solve for this. So we are standing here. So let's go move forward so we can come back and check that one. So we'll go straight. So we go move forward, move forward, and move forward three times. But since we are doing it three times, uh, we can just grab this, delete other two, say three times, move forward. And then when we're, we are on the cloud, we can say if at a flower, um, get nectar else make honey and then when we are here we need to face this way but we are facing this way so we need to uh, turn right so we turn right so now if you look from this angle you kind of need to do these things again right so you need to go move forward move forward move forward check for this and when you are done you turn right so that's two times again when you are facing this way you do the similar same code so three times and when you face this way you do this again so you actually need to do the whole thing four times for each side so this code is actually solving for one side and we need to solve for four side sides and that's why we're doing it four times cool. awesome right. so if you want to look at the code it's same it's running to for loop and for loop is uh, it's coming from javascript we we'll learn this uh, later on when we finish all those block learnings all those uh, making apps using block uh, scratch all those when we know the programming concept uh, then we'll go learn uh, this language cool so we know the concept we just need to know how to write the concept in the language so that part will become easier cool all right so i think the same thing again let's uh, collect all the nectar or make all the honey so it's guaranteed that in each block we'll either have um, flower or uh, either have honeycomb 
like if we have nothing that this block won't work let's break so we have guaranteed and then we can use if else right and so how many block we have one two three four five six seven so whatever we do we need to repeat it seven times and then we need to move forward okay and then when we are on this block we need to check so if a flower we get nectar otherwise if not a flower it will be definitely a, a honeycomb so if we find a honeycomb we make honey and that's it so let's run same it's running a, a for loop so starting the count with zero and every time finish the loop it just count increasing the number count and then there's a few function there that gives you make move all those things cool continue all right that's the last one but it's the similar similar one so we do the same just let me count the blocks One, two three four five six seven so same seven so whatever we do we'll do seven times so we need to make the b move forward so it can checks every block so we'll go move forward and then we have the <coughs> conditional block so we are checking for flowers if you want you can check for let's check for honeycomb okay so if you find a honeycomb we make honey otherwise we get nectar okay so that's just reverse because we are guaranteed there will be something like <clears throat> either of them will be there all right so yeah let's run Cool, awesome, well done. So I think that's the end of this uh, lesson. So yeah, practice and um, if you have a question, leave it in the comment section. Um, yeah, happy coding. I will see you on the next one. Bye.